Here is an internal block diagram of Arduino's digital to analog converter system. It consists of a reference voltage, often BCC in this case. We have a 10-bit digital to analog converter. And we have what is called a sample and hold comparator. One side of the comparator goes back to the output voltage on the digital to analog converter. The other side goes to the input voltage whose level we are trying to read. As the voltage output on the DAC changes, sooner or later it will meet a condition of where they're equal and a bit will be sent high or low on the output of the comparator, which is constantly checked by the conversion logic. When you do a digital to analog read, what you're getting returned is that 10-bit DAC number. Pictured here is my pulse width modulation to voltage converter circuit that I explored in another video. Essentially, I have an input from Arduino um, that will give me an output voltage from 0 to 5 volts that is proportional to the duty cycle of the pulse width modulation in. The output of uh, LM358A is fed into the other LM358B, and this is used as an amplifier with a gain of 1 to 2 depending on where I set R2. So now I have a range of 0 to 10 volts at a 12 volt supply. If I was to go to 24 volts, I could adjust this or change the value of this pot and change it where I could adjust it from uh, 0 to 22 volts. This greatly would extend the range of the 0 to 5 volts normally seen in the Arduino. The next component we will add to this circuit is an LM311 comparator. The LM311 has an open collector output. You could look at it as an internal switch that when VN is less than V reference, the switch is open, the output's going to be high, and the LED is going to be off. That's the LED you saw in the video. But when VN is greater than or equal to V reference, the output will go low, the LED will come on, and the output here is fed back to Arduino's digital pin 4. The reference is generated from the previous pulse width modulation to voltage converter circuit. And thus by stepping that circuit through a series of voltage or like a ramp, I will get a match sooner or later the sw internal switch in the LM311 will go low it will drop the output pin, which is 7 in this case, I believe, low. LED will come on, and the Arduino will detect that low logic level and stop the count. And just like you did in your internal Arduino, it will know um, what voltage approximately got me the low in a match. Here is the basic circuit that we saw demonstrated back in the video. I left out the voltage follower stage in the drawing and went ahead and used the LM358 directly as an amplifier. In this case, I have substituted a um, 50K pot that when used with this 10K resistor can give me a voltage gain of something like 1 to 6. So by adjusting that pot, the 0 to 5 volt output on test point 3 can easily be um, 0 to 22 volts on V reference. Vn is the, is the voltage that I'm checking. And here pin 7 is tied into it. I don't show the LED here, but it would be the same circuit as you saw before with the LED lighting up. And as you see, the output feeds back to digital pin 4. So as Arduino automatically raises the output voltage on V reference, it's checking 
the uh, pin 7 on the output for a low and when I finally get a low the count stops and that's where I know the match between B reference and VN has occurred. Here is the basic program for this. Um, this is the setup. We're using the uh, LCD display so you're going to need the wire.h library. And because this is a serial I2C LCD display, you'll need the Liquid Crystal I2C library. It's going to be set up as a two-line by 16 character, and that's what we declared here in this statement. Um, we also need a uh, variable float voltage. Voltage is a float. I is an integer. And here's the rest of the setup where I've initialized the uh, backlight and the uh, and it prints when it first comes on either though you didn't see it Arduino to tell me the system is up and running and this is the remainder of the program we're looking at loop first I initialize my integer i to zero and this is a very basic while loop what you've done here is you're checking the voltage level on uh, digital pin 4 as long as it's, it will read high as long as the output on pin 7 of the comparator remains switched off. As long as it's high, I'll do the following. I'll increment I. I will store I and do an analog write on digital pin 11. That's the input to the... Uh, PWM to voltage converter storing the value of I. Then I'll delay 100 milliseconds and go back. Check it again. Digital pin 4 is still high so I'll increment I again, write I again, delay, come back and I'll keep checking and checking and checking. Somewhere the output on the DAC digital to analog converter circuit will match the input voltage on the compare rater and sooner or later digital pin 4 will go low. At this time I will exit the loop and I will print the value of I. Then I will take um, I, multiply it by a uh, 0.01961 that was derived by dividing BCC by 255. And uh, that will produce my voltage that you saw printed on line 2 of the LCD display. At the end of this, I will return the output voltage to the digital to analog converter back to zero and start the process again. And here's the circuit once again that we discussed before. Pulse width modulation out, digital pin 11. I have a 0 to 5 volt level here. That 5 volt level is amplified from value of 1 to 6 depending on this pot R set. My BCC is 12 to 24 volts. VN for this circuit to work has to be something like... Uh, 2 volts below whatever BCC is. And then it just checks the output back at digital pin 4 in the loop that you saw in the previous slide. And that's that. Um, I hope this was useful. We'll be looking at another use for this in another video. And check out all of my other videos at my YouTube channel or my website www.bristolwatch.com Thanks for listening.